UFOs and the phenomenon called angel hair. And this is what it looks like. Throughout the history of UFO sightings, there have always been cases where these mysterious objects left behind strange clues. The most common UFO evidence is believed to be so-called angel hair or silica cotton type of sticky fibrous substance similar to very fine spiderweb or silk threads, sometimes crumpled into a thick ball. Because of this, a phenomenon sometimes referred to as star jellies. These threads are usually seen falling from the sky shortly after a UFO sighting in the same area. When this substance reaches the ground, it immediately loses its shape and turns into slimy lumps that begin to decompose, melt, and soon disappear without a trace. One of the first sightings of angel hair was recorded in Nuremberg in 1571, when mysterious flakes or rags about an inch wide and five or six inches long fell to the ground as described in a historic record in 1571, yes. In 1741, a similar phenomenon was observed simultaneously in several British towns, Bradley, Selborne, and Earlsford, but at some research, as some researchers say, people have been seeing phenomena similar to angel's hair for centuries, starting at least from 629 AD. Specifically, researcher Brian Boldman discovers hundreds of angel hair sightings around the world over the past two millennia. However, people usually associate these phenomena with something divine and angel hair was first linked to UFOs only in the 1950s after the world media wrote about the events in France. One of the apparitions of angel hair took place in Oloron, France in October 1952. According to many witnesses, they saw a large scroll in the sky. At the same time, up to 30 red orbs were observed in the sky with a bright red light. Their movements were described as zigzag. Witnesses say there were about 30 of these objects. This whole scenario was repeated 10 days later in Gaillac in France. People saw with their own eyes how something similar to fluffy white hair fell from these objects. They fell on trees, roofs, pillars, on the ground and either slowly disintegrated or turned into amorphous blobs of slime and then disintegrated without a trace. One person claimed that this substance was so sticky it stuck to him and when he touched it and when he ma managed to peel it off, the substance suddenly rose into the air again and flew away somewhere. What is that? Okay, now this is in France. Another strange case fo soon followed in Europe linking UFOs and so-called angel hair. In October 20, on October 27, 1954, Two locals named Gennaro Lucetti and Pietro Lascruzzi saw from their balcony in Piazza San Marco in Venice, Italy, two glowing orbs flying across the sky, leaving a trail of fine white matter floating in the wind. This is in 1954. Also in 1954, there was a strange incident when a football match was interrupted due to the fact that a UFO through angel hair in Florence, Italy, right over the field of fans. It happened October 27 at the Artemi Franchi Stadium, which was packed in, uh, with almost 10,000 fans who watched the match between FC Fiorentino and their local rival Pistoiese. And suddenly many people stopped watching the match and looked up to see several egg-shaped objects moving slowly in the sky and something silvery and shiny falling from them, which they later described as looking like strands of fiberglass. On November 2nd, 1959, two disc-shaped objects appeared over the city of Evora in Portugal and began spewing angel hair. In this case, some of these threads were collected and analyzed. Researchers at the University of Lisbon reportedly examined these filaments under a microscope and gave them a rather strange description as a small organism with ten limbs extending from central core. A small organism with ten limbs 
extending from a central core, what happened to these samples after the study, and what they were, it really is unknown. In the 1950s, there were many sightings of UFOs that threw strange strings behind them, so that subsequently UFOs and the angel hair phenomenon were widely recognized as being related to each other. In the following years, there were far fewer such events, but they were still observed sporadically. On August 9, 1998, a swarm of 20 UFOs described as shiny silver orbs were seen flying over several rural farms near Quiridi, New South Wales in Australia. USA Today described the case as follows. Residents of the small Australian community swear they saw spider webs falling from the sky after UFOs flew overhead. Dozens of residents called Australia's national hotline after the incident. E. Stanfield, 61 years old, saw that she saw a spider web falling from the sky. She had previously seen 20 silver fl balls flying over the, her head. And when she went to her daughter's house, everything was also covered in fine cobwebs. When she tried to lift one of them from the ground, it shattered in her hand. Her car was also covered in such cobwebs. More recently, in 2003, Giorgio Bettini, a reporter from the Florentine newspaper La Nazione, personally saw glittering silver orbs flying across the sky when he looked out his office window. They were also seen by many of his colleagues, who even went up to the roof of the building to see them flying towards the nearby forest. Then he went into the forest to check for UFO landing sites and found a place with many trees covered in an incomprehensible white fluffy substance. He was able to collect the sample of the threads and examine them in the Institute of Chemical Analysis of the University of Florence. They determined that the material contains elements such as boron, silicon, calcium, and magnesium, and that it is not radioactive. They wanted to study it better, but could not because the entire sample was destroyed during analysis. It has been suggested that it might just be a spider web, but its chemical analysis was completely different from what you would expect from a spider web. There have been more recent cases where angel hair samples have been collected and analyzed. One is a case from Portugal in 2014, in which during analysis, a sample suddenly began to react abnormally under UV light. Unfortunately, it also remained unknown what later became of these samples. On November 4th, 2016, a metallic silver rod-shaped object was spotted in Illinois, USA, the object flew over a small lake and then began to rise, shooting a white thread that was so far that it reached the ground. Then another 12 rod-shaped flying objects met with this object and all began to rotate around the first one and drop white threads. Then they all disappeared and the threads that fell on the trees disintegrated after a day or so. Before the threads disappeared, eyewitnesses were able to collect some of the substance and contacted investigators. They studied their samples and concluded that the substance is biological in nature and resembles spider webs. However, some abnormalities were observed in it. Among other things, they found in, in, in it a small amount of cellulosic material, hence substances of plant origin as well as some inorganic nitrate and an unknown rust-colored material. One theory is that atmospheric electricity causes certain suspended dust particles to become polarized and form long filaments. Of course, given that many cases where UFOs and angel hair have been seen together, it has been suggested that it could be some sort of byproduct of an alien craft's propulsion system or the electromagnetic field surrounding it. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I highly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.